Phil, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm back. I had lunch and came back because, you know, you are aware of that. <laughs> um, what am I making? I am making Sex on the Beach. Well, I'm not making Sex on the Beach because oh, if I was, I wouldn't be filming it. Um, <laughs> I'm making Sex on the Beach soap, though. Uh, the last one that I did, I said, explained, I um, have a set amount of fragrances that I do for my candles, and um, so I'm making soaps to match them, and one of my scents that I have in constant range is Sex on the Beach, so I thought it was about time I actually made a soap. I do have one, but it's not like a... It's a soap, but it's not a soap. That makes so much sense, doesn't it? It's a soap, but it's in the shape of a cocktail, and it's got a little cocktail umbrella and little ice cubes sitting in the top. So it's it's a novelty soap. It's not an actual proper bar soap like this. So for those of you wondering, if you've not watched any of my other videos, um, I'm bipolar, and not that you're wondering that, um, but I have really shit short-term memory, or just memory in general. And I forgot, <laughs> when I made my lie rate 1 to 1 ratio, I forgot that the Tussa Silk doesn't um, mix in nicely. And so yeah, so I have to do this for the next 7 soaps. <laughs> I'm getting through it, it was more than 7. But yes, so it's a bit annoying. I don't know why I did, I did that, I did that last time too. Dickhead. There's nothing in there to strain. Yes, so I'm, I made up about 16, master batched about, yeah, about 16, I think it was, 16 or 17 lies. And um, and put tussle silk in them just because I completely forgot that they, um, that they don't mix properly. So yeah, so I'll, <laughs> I'll get through that. A buttermilk soap. Um, you might have noticed it was looking a little thick there for a minute. Uh, this has been sitting out on the bench for about half an hour. It didn't get overly thick because it's like it's about 35 degrees. So it's about, I think it's just on 31-ish in the house. Oh, it's awful. It's bloody awful. We're about to get a great big storm by the looks of it. Um, yeah, so I have, this is 3% um, of fragrance, I think. Sex on the Beach is reasonably strong, so I don't want to go overkill with it. So, but everyone loves the scent. So I thought I'd do 3% rather than 2.5. Now, Sex on the Beach does discolour, so I've already put some yellow in here, which is why it's looking like that if the colour, you can see that colour. Um, I'll put some Tuscan Sun. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour off some of this into these. That one, and that one's, I had, I did a, um, a mica swirl on top of a soap the other day. And um, have these left over, and these actually are the colours that my um, Sex on the Beach is. So I thought, well, I can use this up because I hate waste. So, and I don't really want to use them in anything you can smell them again because they're made them with castor oil and yuck. That stuff is disgusting. Seriously, can't stand the smell of it. So, yeah, so I'm going to attempt. To do a chopstick swirl. Well, I'm going to do a chopstick swirl. Whether or not it's pretty <laughs> is what I'm attempting. Um, but what I thought I might do is I might just pour it all down into one side and then um, see if I can't swirl it so that it ends up looking like a butterfly. I definitely, I'm really, really bad with these things. I have been trying chopstick swirls for so long now, you don't, and they just don't ever look like a butterfly. So, 
But you know, it's that whole memory thing again. Someone will tell me how to do it and then I'll I'll go away to do it. And I'll just forget. I should write these things down, shouldn't I? <laughs> You'd think. Oh dear. I wonder how long this would keep recording if the power goes out. It's a hell of a storm. But you know, I mean this is this time of year. Um on the east coast of Australia, it's pretty common to get storms nearly every afternoon. So you don't get a lot of rain out of them, but um, lots of thunder and lightning and hail and wind. But yeah, not a lot of rain, and we desperately, desperately need rain. It's so bad here. It's so dry. I don't have a lawn. I just have like a dust bowl. It's shocking. But you watch. It won't rain until the markets are on. <coughs> Yellow is not a lot different, but there's not much I can do about that, so I have a cut on that finger. <laughs> Ouch, much? <laughs> Serves me right for not wearing gloves. I didn't even realise that I didn't have gloves on until just now. So this just, oh, just goes to show how much notice I take, doesn't it? Oh yeah, look at me go. Look at me make as much mess as humanly possible. <laughs> oh my god. And it doesn't end. The mess never ends. Yeah, well, whatever. It's soap, it cleans up. I don't really care. It's more amusing than anything else. I imagine it's probably amusing for you guys too. Yeah, screw making these videos where everything goes perfect. Because that's just bullshit. That requires a lot of editing and I, you know, I have to watch these things from start to finish as it is and listen to me talk so much. You know, that's kind of painful for me. <laughs> Obviously it's not so bad for you guys, you scrub, subscribe, but I would not subscribe to me. No, that's a lie because I, I watch a few soap makers that chat and I like it. So, and if I didn't, I wouldn't watch them, I guess. Makes sense, doesn't it? Alrighty, so firsty first, let's put this in here. Whoops, it's a bit thick. Probably gonna be a bit thick for what I'm doing, but I'm gonna put this in first. So I'm just trying to put it just on the one side. Oh. I'm sorry, I have to do it this way. Oh, I can do it that way. It's too ploppy. It's probably not going to work. It'll look something. <laughs> it'll look something, she says. Yes, it'll look something. That's for sure. Shit is something. But hey, you know. You know me. You guys know me by now, don't you? You know that I'm not going to care too much. It's soap, and honestly, it's not the well, how it looks that sells it, I've discovered, because people rarely look at it and go, oh, it doesn't look pretty. It Pick it up and smell it, and oh, doesn't that smell good? That's what it is. Ooh, hang on. I think it's that side. Oh, I've probably just stuffed this up. Um, yeah, it's very rare. I mean, I get comments on my Facebook when I post the promo shots of how pretty it is and that but it ne that's not that never sells the soap it's always the scent that sells it so so yeah yeah I don't know how this is gonna work out <laughs> that got thick quick didn't it I haven't worked with um sex on the beach in ages so and it's milk soap and it's water discounted so, you know, all that stuff factors in as well. So, that's all cool. It's all cool. I'm not worried in the slightest. Not even a wee little bit. Oh, that breeze is nice. Wow, that's about 10 degrees cooler. 
Okie dokie. Not using a chopstick. I don't use chopsticks. Alright, so round that way and then round that way. Is that right? <laughs> I say that every time, don't I? Because I've done quite a few chopsticks wheels. I don't know if I've uploaded a, a lot, but I've done a lot. So I keep saying, oh yeah, you know, I do this all the time, and I do this all the time, and then I realise I've only uploaded, what, I think, at this point, about 15 videos. Oh. Okie dokie. What are we going to do to this top, guys? What do you reckon? Wish I could actually hear your suggestions. Like, whilst I'm making it. I should do a live thingy. A live thingy. You know, like, I'm a web designer and stuff, right? So I actually know stuff about the internet and, you know, technology and how things work. And I'm thingy. That's my word, thingy. Ah, it's all good. It's all good. Now it again. Murphy's flipping law, I swear. Murphy needs a good smack in the head. I've decided. Making all this bad shit happen. <laughs> I think this one might have to be a textured top as well. I mean the monkey farts walls. Yeah, it looks nice. So. But, uh, and that's how hot it is. I went to um, take it out of its um, out of the timber bit here before, and <laughs> yeah, fully gelled, fully gelled it was, and it's just sitting out on the bench, just you know hanging out doing its thing. <laughs> it's so hot, and it's November. It's the start of November, the our hottest month here on the east coast is January so if you know we're getting 35 degree days already oh I dread to think but that's okay because my market setup is all over there so all my candles and melts and whatnot are over there and they are all directly under the air conditioner so they will be Fine. I might melt, but they won't. Yeah, textured top it is. Um. Eh. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit thick, isn't it? It's kind of cool though. Sometimes when it's raised up like this, it tends to give it an interesting look to it actually leave that. I kind of like that. Oh, it's a bit messy, but isn't it? Oh, so messy. And me, I don't care about mess, but I always have to clean up my soap moulds. I don't know why. I guess when I was learning or teaching myself, I always saw everyone, like in videos and that, they always cleaned their moulds. So I guess it's just become a habit now to clean my moulds. It's a bit weird. Sometimes I get a bit stupid about it and then I'll wreck the soap so I'll stop. <laughs> Alright, that's it guys. That's Sex on the Beach. I will bring... It's not. It's Sex on the Beach soap. I told you I'm not filming Sex on the Beach because it's big. I did want to rename it and call it Sand in Your Crack but Yamba has a lot of... Um, how shall I put it? Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, upper class well they think they're upper class people and yeah if I went to the markets with the soap called sand in your crack I imagine I'll probably lose some customers so I won't do that I'll be good I'll be good all right I'll see you for the cutting <laughs> bye <laughs> hello I'm back to cut this beastie I have a whinging cat behind me because he's dying of starvation apparently <laughs> Listen to him. It's like he hasn't been fed for a month. Pretty sure he ate like half an hour ago. Oh, that's exciting. Pfft. Oh, that's even more exciting. What? <laughs> Q.
Okay. Yeah, this is pretty boring. It's very, very subtle. <laughs> yep, subtle's the word. Actually, I think grease is the word, but... Um, yeah. Okay, then. I thought the orange was going to be like this. And it's not. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, there's one good thing. It smells nice. Well, apart from the weird ass buttermilk smell right at the moment, but yeah, because it's boring as hell, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. Oh, that is not what I thought it was. For some reason, I thought that was a paper towel. And went to grab it, and it was not a paper towel. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, that's oh, that's the most boring soap ever, 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 ever. Possibly. No, I'm pretty sure I've done more boring than that before. But that's a stunner for boringness. Look at that. So boring. Wow. Jeez. Okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Cutie. Have a look at this. Can you see my shirt? Have a look at my shirt. Put the light on it. This is why, I don't know if you can see it or not. This is why I wear an apron because just this part here is completely covered in soap and wax. <laughs> It's my big fat gut, that's what does it. <laughs> Alright, bye!